the whole family in jail now. If you don't know, this is Colt Gray. He ended the lives of four people at his high school in Georgia. Two teachers, two students. And there are a lot more other people that are injured by his actions. He was arrested and he's being charged an adult. His aunt thought it would be appropriate to start issuing threats against people on social media, specifically Facebook. They're charging my 14 year old nephew as an adult for y'all ready to see Paul Hamas blood in full throttle? Nah, wouldn't be either. Ma'am, this is not Dukes of Hazard. This is bigger than your family pride in whatever little small southern town you live in. Let's be so for real right now. Because of your nephew, two children will never see their parents again. And two sets of parents will never see their children again. And then she goes on. Please, someone get me in touch with the GBI. I've tried calling. GBI is the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. I'm not scared. I will not back down. I will not disrespect other parents and families that are dealing with this tragedy on the opposite end. They did not deserve this. I will not do anything but humbly support the families involved in this incident and did not ask to be participants. With that said, I will not leave my nephew standing alone. When Uvalde happened, I told my own children that only hurt people hurt people. This isn't some kumbaya session. This is because of your nephew. I did everything I could to fight for my nephew and my niece and my other nephew. Y'all could go ahead and play the victim, play the blame game all you want. But the families affected by my nephew's actions deserve all the attention now. I will take care of my nephew and what he needs on this. I don't know what the rest says. Just check yourselves before you speak about a child that never asked to deal with the he saw on a daily basis. She's really on this other level of I need to get my nephew out of this situation. What do you think she's going to tell the GBI? He was abused at home. He was a bullied. Blah, 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 blah. That's what she's going to do automatically coddling him. I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion or not, but it's my opinion. If you have an unsecured firearm at home and your child has made threats before to the point where police have had to get involved, right? And then your child turns around because there's no probable cause in this kid's situation. They have to turn around. They do what they say they were going to do with your unsecured firearm. As a parent, you need to be in jail too. No if, ands, or buts because it's your responsibility to secure those things in your home. It's ridiculous that this could have been prevented with responsible firearm ownership and securing your firearm correctly in your home. And whoever this kid's guardian, parent, whatever, was like, eh. Even after the FBI came to his house and the school was put on alert about him, time and time and time again, this happens where parents are not responsible with what they have in their home and we all have to pay for it. And when I say all, I mean all. We have to send our children to school at the end of the day and worry all day about kids like this that do things like that. We all have to pay the price mentally or emotionally for kids like this.